Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to another episode of Can't Wait Wednesdays here on the KB Radio Network. How are we doing today? I hope everybody enjoyed their Halloween weekend. Now we're gearing up for Thanksgiving. Um, It's right around the corner. Time is moving fast, people. It's November. It is officially November, and we are uh, steam heading, full steam ahead. To the true holiday season it already feels holiday-ish to me but <laughs> uh i hope you got your money saved up you know and you got uh, uh, uh thanksgiving dinners to prepare you have christmas presents to purchase you know uh <laughs> it's gonna be a very expensive time of the year along as being joyous and we have films as well. It, we still got s- some pretty good films coming out between now and the end of the year. So, man, 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 uh, it's a good time to be alive, thank God. But this week, this week is kind of light. This week, we don't have a whole lot of films coming out that I'm just breaking down the movie theater's door to get to go see. But, but there are some decent or or uh curious films <laughs> to put it kindly that i would like to see this week and let's jump right in first and foremost we have weird yeah weird now i'm not describing what the film is which i'm pretty sure is going to be weird but that's the title weird the al yankovic story yes you know will al yankovic he has his own biopic parody film that is coming out on roku this friday november the 4th i i heard about this like earlier this year that they were making this movie and i was like okay i it, actually i thought hey, the man passed away or something what what, what did i miss why is Will Al Yankovic getting his own movie now? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's no knock against Will Al Yankovic. Everybody knows who Will Al Yankovic is. I'm pretty sure everybody got a kick out of Will Al. Well, I say got. Man, probably still making music, but <laughs> gets a kick out of Will Al Yankovic in his parody of, of, of uh, pop culture hits songs you know the one that comes to my mind is uh eat it his parody on michael jackson's beat it um along with many many others but he (laughs) he uh co-wrote this film with the director and um it is coming out on roku uh which is difficult i don't know if i have roku i i I, actually i know i don't have roku (laughs) But uh, I'm going to find a way to watch this movie because I am interested. Now, another thing that kind of drew me off of the movie when, was the casting. And I'm like, out of all the people they cast, they cast Daniel Radcliffe to play Al Yankovic. If you don't know who Daniel Radcliffe is, it's Harry Potter. Now, I'm not trying to typecast the young man. He can play whatever role he had. It, it actually, after Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe has made it, I guess, a mission in life to do everything different <laughs> to separate himself from Harry Potter. And I commend him for it. And he's great. He is a he's an awesome actor. I, I enjoy him and everything. Even the little st- stupid movies I see him in, he, he's still a good actor. Uh, most recently, I saw him in The Lost City. Uh, he played the villain, um, along with Sandra Bullock and what's old boy name? Uh, Channing Tatum. Good little movie. It was a fun little movie, and he was the villain, and he, he comical. He had some comic relief in there, and it, he's funny, you know. Uh, he was on this series that was on TBS a while back. I don't know if it still come on. I kind of lost track of the show, but uh, oh, I can't think of the name of it now. It was a comedy. I know Steve Buscemi was on it. Oh, I can't think of the name. But anyways, he was funny on that. So I I said, okay, maybe this might work. Maybe this might work. And then the trailer came out. And when I watched the trailer, I was like, wow. 
he is Will uh, Weird Al Yankov. <laughs> I, I, I could get with this, but uh, the premise of this film is uh, weird tells the true in quotations, true story of Alfred Matthew Yankovic, most famously known, known as Will Al Yankovic, his beginning interest in the accordion, his discovery by Dr. Demento, his support from Madonna and his overall claim to fame. A satire of a biopic, the film intentionally exaggerates and downright fabricates moments in Yakovic's life for comedic efforts. So you go into this, don't take this as scripture. Just take it as what it is. We know that Will uh, Weird Al, he's a parody guy. He's a comedian. He's funny. You know, so if he co-wrote this film and uh, producing this film, he's going to do the same thing about his life. <laughs> you know, so this is a, 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 a very exaggerated version of his life. Uh, in this film, you have Madonna being played by Evan Rachel Wood, uh, and they're in a romantic relationship, which you never heard about. <laughs> you never heard about, but they they are a couple in this movie, and I can only say that I, I'm assuming I'm a, I'm I'm just gonna assume that that's fabricated. <laughs> but you know what? Knowing Madonna, it, it maybe it's not. I don't know. We look. It doesn't matter. No, it don't. I, I'm, I'm interested to see this. I want to see how this plays out. Weird. The Al Yankovic story will be available on the Roku channel this Friday, November the 4th. Uh, I think I do have the Roku channel, though. I, I, it keeps playing in my head. I have it. I just never watch it. <laughs> I think I do have it. If not, I might download it so I can uh watch this because i am curious i want to see this it looks fun speaking of uh streaming service and downloading the app netflix we have a couple of things on netflix this weekend that i'm excited to check out one of which is a television series or uh, based on just my childhood i guess you could say in in some shape form or fashion blockbuster yeah, a blockbuster uh, video when I was younger was to hang out for me. I didn't hang out in clubs, didn't hang out in ballrooms, but I hung out in blockbuster video. That was my spot to go. Uh, because though I'm a movie nut, so I, I just loved going to blockbuster video. Couldn't wait for Tuesdays when the new movies dropped. And the whole back wall was the new movies and you had the copies. Uh, you had to get there early because everybody go rent them. And <laughs> if you get there too late, all the copies are gone. Now you're mad and all this. But I have so many memories of blockbuster video. Don't talk about Friday nights when, um, you know, you'll be home all weekend and go rent you about four or five movies. Um, rent you some video games and all this. Here. But blockbuster was just my everything I, I miss blockbuster it's the little things in life that's that's one of those little things in life that i just miss i drive past uh this store that used to be a blockbuster close to where i live and i look over there every day honestly on my way to work i look over there every day and just be like oh man i miss blockbuster <laughs> i really do i miss that store well Hey, we have a television series that is coming out on Netflix based on that store and based on the very last blockbuster video store. Uh, they also have a documentary on uh, Netflix. Uh, I watched it maybe a month, maybe two months ago about the very last blockbuster video store. And it's, it's a gr real good documentary. It, it really brought back so many memories. But this TV show is loosely based on that documentary and it um, explores what and who it takes for a small business to succeed. Uh, this is a uh, workplace comedy. Um, it stars Randall Park, Randall Park, who you may know from uh, 
that sitcom um, Fresh Off the Boat. It was on ABC for a while. Funny show. Now, I didn't religiously watch the show. I only caught a few episodes. But it was funny <laughs> when I did peek in and watch it. And he was funny in it. He also popped up on WandaVision. Uh, he played the same character from uh, the Ant-Man movie that he was in as well. He, he's popped up in a few things, and he's been funny in most, if not all, the things I've I've seen him in. Uh, film also, uh, not the film, but the TV show also stars J.B. Smoove. J.B. Smoove has, he's just a distinct character, bro. The dude, everything he pops up in, he just adds something to it. Just a little, he's seasoning to your to your bland uh, mashed potatoes or something. I don't know, <laughs> but it, it, he's, he's just that little flavor you need for your, for your dinner. But he, he is hilarious. I, I, uh, I didn't watch curve your enthusiasm. Like a lot of people have, I did peep in on a couple of episodes of it. And I thought it was, it was funny, but I, I didn't think it was the greatest comedy of all time, but <laughs> you know, but he was funny in it and he was on, uh, he he provided one of the voices on Harley Quinn, you know the animated show that's on HBO Max. And bro, <laughs> just him him voicing this Venus flytrap on it, it is a he makes the show. He he makes the show. The show is good and funny within itself, but just him being in his voice being. It just adds another layer of comedy that I wasn't expecting from that show. And he does that. Really, he's lending his voice or popping up in something. It He does that. That's why I'm excited for him popping up in this. Uh, Blockbuster is a 10-episode series. All episodes are dropping this Thursday. Drops tomorrow on Netflix. November the 3rd. I cannot wait to sit down and watch that this weekend. Uh, this is right up my alley. Hopefully, it'll bring back some memories. Hopefully, uh, uh, it won't cause me to <laughs> riot because I want to actually go to a blockbuster store. It is impossible to do. <laughs> I wish there was a way, though. I wish a little side note. I wish there was a way. They can bring back blockbuster videos. I, I really do. Even though videos is the thing of a past now. I mean, do do anybody even own a DVD player these days? I I have one, but I don't know where it is because we don't. Have it. I have so many DVDs, but they're all in storage because I don't watch them. You know, we we have these apps we have these streaming services i can i can pull up a movie whenever i want you know on 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 the remote so uh, it, you know it's kind of like man what i'm gonna do with all these dvds i mean i have totes full of dvds and blu-rays and it is it's wasted i guess that's probably where my dvd player is um if it still works i don't even know that either i mean it's been years years Oh, I miss Blockbuster. <laughs> I miss it. I miss the old time. I feel I feel like the old timey people, you know. At least they old timey to me. They old back in my day, you know. Those the old types. I, I'm there now. I'm there now. I'm officially one of those people who sit back and be like, yeah. I'm. <laughs> I remember when I used to do this. You know, my parents, uh, well, not so much my parents, but say how they used to walk to school in the snow and all that there. Actually, I think my parents did tell me that. At least my dad did. But, um, yeah, <laughs> that is crazy, man. Blockbuster video. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to miss it. Anyways, as, like I said, Blockbuster, the TV show on Netflix starting tomorrow, November the 3rd. Check it out. Well, staying in Netflix for our last Can't Wait this week, we have a sequel to a film that caught me off guard, the original, the the, the first one. Uh, it caught me off guard because I, I wasn't expecting a lot from this movie. I just thought it was going to be a cute little funny little take on the Sherlock Holmes serious or whatever but it ended up being a pretty good movie and that was uh enola holmes 
with Millie Bobby Brown, who we all know from Stranger Things. Uh, I'm like, okay, okay. And then, voila, we get a sequel, which is coming out this Friday on Netflix, amply entitled Enola Holmes 2. And I'm real excited for this. <laughs> I am I am super excited for this because I enjoyed the first one so much. Wasn't expecting to enjoy it so much. And we have everybody returning for the sequel. And it looks like the game is afoot. Uh, we have bigger stakes. Um, Millie Bobby Brown is becoming just one of those actresses who, quite frankly, look like she's going to rule the rule the world um <laughs> with when it's all said and done because watching her uh 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 grow from stranger things to now her popping up in Godzilla versus Kong and you know popping up in this film which she's also producing as well as she produced the first one as well and even with the seasons of Stranger Things, you know, she just got better and better and better. Oh, I'm so impressed with Millie Bobby Brown. And I, I can't wait till she gets older and get more seasoned roles, I guess you can say. And I, I have no doubts that she will take home some Academy Awards eventually in her career. I, I can I can honestly see it. I can honestly see it. She she has that it factor. But before I put the carriage in front of the horse, let's see how she does in Enola Holmes 2. Uh, it is the sequel to, of course, Enola Holmes, which came out in 2020 uh, during the pandemic. It was initially slated to be released in theaters, but once the pandemic hit, they dumped it on Netflix. And um, it is one of those just casualties from the pandemic because I thought it would have did game busters in the theater i thought it was a real good film but the sequel is going straight to netflix as well and and it ain't nothing wrong with that uh in the sequel enola holmes follows in the footsteps of a famous brother sherlock who is played once again by superman himself henry cavill and opens her own agency only to find that life as a female detective for hire isn't as easy as it seems Resigned to accept the cold realities of adulthood, she is about to close shop when a penniless matchstick girl offers Enola her first official job to find her missing sister. But this case proves to be far more puzzling than expected, as Enola is thrown into a dangerous new world from London's sinister factories and colorful music halls to the highest of society and 221 B Baker Street itself. As the sparks of a deadly conspiracy ignite, Enola must call upon the help of friends and Sherlock himself to unravel her mystery. I cannot wait for this. This looks good. It looks like they're uh Enola and Sherlock will be partnering up. They're working on two separate cases that ends up being the same case. So it, it looks like uh, is a race to see who will solve the mystery first. So that, that, that seems exciting. I'm, I love Sherlock Holmes. I love Sherlock Holmes as a character. And so, uh, uh, any variation of it, I'm all in on it. You know, I'm a big, huge Sherlock Holmes fan. First time I ever got exposed to Sherlock Holmes was, uh, young Sherlock Holmes, the film from the eighties. When I was younger, I watched that. I watched, it was a movie. I cannot think of it. I was trying to think of it before I started the show. But it was a movie where uh, it was in the 80s. I want to say Malcolm McDowell played Sherlock Holmes. And he was tracking Jack the Ripper. And they got into a time machine or something and they ended up in present time or something to that effect. I, f I forgot how it went, but it, it was it was one of those movies back then that I watched and I just loved for some strange reason. I guess call it a guilty pleasure, but I, I just love I, I love Sherlock Holmes. So whenever Sherlock Holmes popped up in something, I was watching it. Um, I watched all of Elementary that came on CBS a few years back that starred Johnny Lee Miller. Um, 
I thought that was an interesting take on Sherlock Holmes. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch version. Um, Sherlock. That was on BBC. They even had uh, episodes on Netflix for a while. I don't know if it's still there or not. But I watched that show. I, I just love Sherlock Holmes. So if you're a fan of Sherlock Holmes like I am. And you cannot wait to see this version of it. If you enjoyed the first Enola Holmes. You don't have to wait long. This Friday on Netflix, November the 4th, you get Enola Holmes 2. So, which one are you excited for this weekend? Are you looking forward to Enola Holmes 2 on Netflix this Friday? Are you looking for Blockbuster, the TV show? Also on Netflix, available Thursday. And Weird. The Al Yankovic story available on the Roku channel this Friday, November the 4th. I'm interested in all three. I, all three got my attention. Um, can't wait. Uh, hopefully I can squeeze all three in this weekend. There's nothing to go to the movie, the movie theater to see. Everything is at home. So no excuse. You don't have to account for travel time or nothing like that. Everything is right in your living room. Which one are you excited about? Hit me up on Twitter. KB Radio Network on Twitter. You can easily get in contact with me and the show there, along with all other social media platforms. Don't forget about the five stars and reviews. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, I'll greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to share the show with all your friends and family. Let everybody know you're listening to Can't Wait Wednesdays here on the KB Radio network everybody's been an honor privilege and joy to speak with you today can't wait for these projects to drop can't wait for a couple of weeks from now <laughs> i look i'm excited for these movies but nothing nothing compares to what i'm excited for and i'm pretty sure everybody else in this world is excited for november 11 I'm just buying time until then. <laughs> I cannot wait. Oh my God, I can't wait. Pretty sure you can't either. But anyways, everybody, hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you enjoyed these films and television series that are coming out this weekend. Can't wait to speak. Can't wait. Can't wait to speak to you again. Until then, I want you all to know I love you. Continue to love one another. And until we speak again, you all be blessed.